You're denying my claim? I don't understand. I have full coverage. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hoganson, but our liability is spelled out in paragraph 17. It states clearly that- I can't that... pay for this. Excuse me. Claims, Bob Parr. I'm calling to celebrate a momentous occasion. We are now officially moved in. Yeah, well, that's great, honey. And the last three years don't count because... Because I finally unpacked the last box. Now, it's official. Ha ha ha. Why do we have so much junk? Listen, honey, I got a client. Oh, say no more. Go save the world one policy at a time, honey. Oh, I gotta go pick up the kids from school. See you tonight. Bye, honey. Excuse me, where were we? I'm on a fixed income, and if you can't help me, I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, listen closely. I'd like to help you, but I can't. I'd like to tell you to take a copy of your policy to Norma Wilcox on Norma Wilcox, W-I-L-C-O-X, on the third floor, but I can't. I also do not advise you to fill out and file a WS-2475 form with our legal department on the second floor. I wouldn't expect someone to get back to you quickly to resolve the matter. I'd like to help, but there's nothing I can do. Oh, thank you, young man. Shh! I'm sorry, ma'am. I know you're upset. Pretend to be upset. <laughs> so, for this project, I did the scene from The Incredibles at the beginning where um, Bob is in the office with the old lady and they're kind of talking about the insurance claims. Um, so, I had Karis Smith play the role of Mrs. Hoganson. And I have Ethan Miller for Bob. Um, and then I played, well, I just stood behind the camera and read the lines for Helen. Um, she only had like three, so I just said those to make it easier for Ethan. So for the first take of it, I just had them kind of read the script. Um, with it being a movie that's pretty well known um both of them had seen it i asked them both like to act like they've never seen the movie before even though it's hard but just to kind of like if they were the actual actors in it read it like you're just looking at the script for the first time um which i think they did pretty well of and um i don't think i didn't see that they were really trying to imitate how the actual characters were in the movie too much. So I think they did a good job of just being themselves for it. I did not give them any props um, and just kind of had them, I didn't really give them any direction for the first one. So after that was done, I one of the things um, that Karis even like mentioned afterward is that she had um, a hard time like she didn't know what to do with her hands so she felt really awkward with that so I let them use props in the second scene I gave them a box of tissues for Karis to use and I also gave them the sticky notes and the cell phone and then we used a, um, a phone ringer to kind of simulate that so that kind of helped especially with Karis, um, when she was writing on the notepad and um, blowing her nose and just even just holding the tissue in her hand, it helped her to kind of feel more natural. And for, um, for Karis, acting wise, I told her to imagine that her house um, caught on fire and she lost a bunch of stuff in it, but she, even though she has the in, the insurance to cover it, the insurance was not accepting her claim. So I told her to pretend like she just lost everything and she can't afford to replace it and the insurance is not helping her at all with it. So she doesn't really know what to do. For Ethan, I told him to imagine that he, um, I asked him what his dream job, job was, and he said a uh, psychologist. So I told him to imagine that he was at one point a, psychi I, 
a psychologist and he ended up losing his job and now he's stuck doing a job that he hates and he just doesn't want to be there and he just really is not happy with the way his life is going on right now and I also told him that he's he, he wants to help this lady out but the place that he's working like his boss does not like to give out money that much so he's like trying to help her but he's trying to be quiet about it also so I think that um helped both of them a little bit I saw I definitely saw changes especially um with Karis in the way that she kind of acted um from the second one um she looked a lot more comfortable and natural in it I thought and Ethan did a good job all around um following the direction denied you're denying my claim I don't understand I have full coverage I'm sorry Mrs. Hoganson but our liability is spelled out in paragraph 17 it states clearly that we I cannot I can't pay for this excuse me claims Bob Parr I'm calling to celebrate a momentous occasion. We are now officially moved in. Yeah, well, that's great, honey. And the last three years don't count because... Because what? I finally unpacked the last box. Now, it's official. Ha ha ha. Why do we have so much junk? Listen, honey, I've got a client. Say no more. You go save the world one policy at a time. Oh, I gotta go pick up the kids from school. I'll see you tonight. Hi, honey. Excuse me, where were we? I'm on a fixed income, and if you can't help me, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> All right, listen closely. I'd like to help you, but I can't. I'd like to tell you to take a copy of your policy to Norma Wilcox on Norma Wilcox, W-I-L-C-O-X, on the third floor, but I can't. I also do not advise you to fill out and file a WS-2475 form with our legal department on the second floor. I wouldn't expect someone to get back to you quickly to resolve the matter. I'd like to help, but there's nothing I can do. Thank you so much. Shh! I'm sorry, ma'am. I know you're upset. Pretend to be upset. 